What sets the reInvent system apart from a system that simply provides air to the patient is that a few things. It can provide warm and moisturized air, which is normally what's provided through a ventilator. And it allows for controls for the physician to come in and change things like the inspiration to expiration ratio, as well as the breaths per minute. And to control that and change that in a digital way that's easy to interface. And it's uh, familiar for the physicians, similar to how they might change the control settings on a ventilator. You need to be able to put that pressure in and relieve that pressure and, and on a regular pattern and be able to control how long you're putting it in and how long you're taking it out. So the, the concept then was to take the CPAP and let that be the motor, the, the driver, the thing that produces the moisturized, pressurized air and feed that into a sequence of valves to open the valve up to allow the air from the CPAP to go into the lungs, pressurize the lungs, close that valve, open an exhaust valve, which allows the person to exhale then uh, to the atmosphere. One of the most important measures of what a ventilator is providing to the patient is referred to as the tidal volume, or that's the amount of air that goes into the lungs and back out of the lungs for every breath. And for each patient, they might require a different amount of tidal volume depending on the patient's size or where they are in terms of progression of the disease. And so we had one test where we were able to change all the parameters on the system to vary all the parameters and measure the amount of tidal volume that was produced. And the results from that test showed that the tidal volume that's able to be produced is consistent with what would be needed in a medical facility for patients, including those that might be infected with COVID-19. There's two sides of it. On the one hand, it's exhilarating to feel like you may have actually done something that may help, may actually save someone's life. The other side of it is you think about at some point, you may be, the doctors may be putting a person's life into the hands of this box that we built in two weeks from scratch. And that's a scary proposition because the rapid development time of this doesn't give you time to go vet all the little details and to do the, the proper design and, and testing and modification. And design is an iterative process and we just haven't had time for all the iterations that you would like to do. So it's scary, uh, but it's also uh, it's also exciting